Okay, my name is Abby Webster and I'm a writer for the Missouri State Standard and this week we did an article about healthy eating and um, things that college students can prepare for cheap and um, that's still healthy, like in alternatives to eating things like ramen noodles and processed stuff like that. So we're here with Jess Hagen and she's going to show us how to make something really easy um, and it's just instead of using like your typical noodles or like your typical processed flour, we're going to use... What are they called? They're wheat berries. Wheat berries. Yeah, soft shelled wheat berries. You can get them at Mama Jean's for about a dollar seventy seven a pound, which is really cheap. And they're filling, so you don't have to use that many of them. So if you're making a portion for two people, say you would use two cups of wheat berries, it's probably plenty, and then maybe like four cups of water. It's probably gonna be more than two people, but you just boil them and then drain whatever water is left and then pretty much add whatever veggies you have in your fridge. I have some carrots and um, some kale. You can cook them in with with it while it's boiling, the carrots maybe, and then um, maybe saute the kale, throw it in whatever you have, some spices and cheese and stuff. Yeah. While you're waiting for it to boil and stuff, you can also like saute the vegetables that you want to add beforehand so that they're already cooked whenever you have your grains ready. So. I'm lacking on my vegetable supply. Preparing some garlic, just chopping it, sauteing action. It's tasty. Now she's dumping the um, grains in, and she's gonna let them cook in there, and then they'll soak up the water. Okay, so there's kale and uh, red pepper, and then I threw in a mixture of kidney and pinto beans, and then some garlic, and uh, yeah, that's all right now. Um, this is parsley. Just gonna add it to the rest of the veggies for some flavor. <laughs> Okay, so this is turmeric, and I added curry, some curry powder, and some pepper, and some oregano. Just whatever you have in your spice. Also, this week we talked about some alternatives that you can do instead of like using ramen noodles or like processed foods. And what Jess was doing is she's adding like a lot of different herbs and spices, and it's cutting down a lot on sodium. Okay, so I'm Abby Webster, um, this is Jess Hagen, she just showed us an alternative to eating um, regular pasta or ramen noodles or frozen foods and things for cheap, um, and there you go.